also just had a chai latte this morning. I've been using that as the home brand oat milk and I've been really enjoying it. Um, otherwise I'm just using chai tea bags and I do use honey in it. So that is what I had this morning. So one of my friends just surprised me and dropped off a KFC vegan burger. So I took just a couple bites of that because I am going to make sort of a vegan nugget bowl for lunch but that was so good it was just in the middle of working and I definitely needed it so that really got me through it but now on to making lunch hey google best time is 15 minutes okay 15 minutes now so just while I'm peeling some garlic because this is so tedious I thought I'd talk about what I'm doing so honestly I think you know peak isolation meal is just trying to get through things in your fridge before they go bad so I'm going to do some sauteed garlic and frozen peas with spinach, then I've got some carrot and cucumber which I'm going to chop on top for some fresh veggies, then I have some bean sprouts which I'm going to add just for a bit of texture and more veggies, then obviously I have the nuggets and I'm going to do some kind of sauce, I have this sort of sticky Korean sauce which I think would go nice up there. So that is what's going on at the moment. Okay, so I have the peas and bean sprouts in the pan. The peas are definitely defrosted and everything's warmed up. I'm going to put in a bit of sesame oil and the garlic. And then I've already chopped up the spring onion ready to put in at the end. Once the garlic's done a bit, I'm going to put in the spinach. Then I'm going to chop up the carrot and cucumber separately. I also saw a TikTok of someone last night talking about pickles. So I'm going to finally chop a pickle, just put some pickle kind of flavor in it. Um, I also have just got all my spices out. So I have this Korean barbecue sauce, which is like sticky and has sesame in it. Then I just have salt, pepper, onion powder, ground ginger, a bit of turmeric, some dried chives and some black sesame seeds. So that is all just going in the pan pretty much together. So I'm just on to my second cup of tea. It's the same as before, so I didn't film anything. But yeah, just another chai, it's really good. Okay, the lighting in my kitchen is terrible and I moved here where it's slightly better but kind of worse anyway um so today was like half a terrible day to do this video because i'm not eating like i normally do i normally just have like a couple cups of tea lunch dinner and then maybe a dessert but today i've been snacking a lot and i'm about to have another snack i'm gonna heat up like the burger from the kfc vegan burger because i'm not eating for like another hour and a half and i'm so hungry there's a reason for timing whatever but i was thinking i shouldn't like change this to a different day because you know what this is exactly what i'm eating in a day of isolation and when you are just sitting at home there's not much else to do <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go make that now but i just want to say like this isn't normal but also it is normal because it's realistic if that makes sense Okay, so next thing I'm eating today is my dinner, which is salt and pepper chips. These are like Chinese style takeaway. Um, these are so British, I love them. I've never had them before I moved to the UK and absolutely great. And this is actually for my trying vegan TikTok recipes video. So I'm not gonna film me cooking, but I will link that up there. And yeah, I will show you the end result. So that is everything I ate in a day during isolation. I think it's a bit weird, but it is realistic. So I just wanted to show everyone. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video.